this is awesome. Said to myself for about two o'clock today, I was gonna go stop work and gonna go for a sail. Anyway, here I am. It's now getting on six o'clock and Plymouth in the distance there. Boat steering itself. Literally, we've just got the headset up. And we're actually, if you look at the telltale there, you know, we're, we're, the wind is coming from the southwest, so really, She's doing fabulously well to say we've just got the old headset on there. Um, yeah, new arrangement. Um, but yeah, we're doing, well, you know, we're not racing along, but say we're going upwind, we've only got a headset up. Bloody happy with that. And coming up river, it was absolutely awesome. We were doing six knots quite often at times, just under engine. Um, so I've definitely noticed cleaning the boat out. And yeah, head sail alone, no, no main sail cover to do tonight when I arrive back at the moorings. And there we go. The English Channel, rain head over there. Lady Stone Light over there, obviously we're not going there today, but yeah, just having a great time. About to tuck into, well, it looks like sludge over there, but what it is is quinoa, broccoli, carrot, and chicken soup. So, cheerio. Well, I've just had um, my dinner. Managed to cook it while the boat was um, steering itself under the bungees. Now we've just tacked. Now we're going back towards Plymouth, but we're going to try and aim for the, the western entrance this time. And um, well, what can I say? Putting the travellers, I mean, putting the um, jib block back there has made a massive difference. Also, probably tightening the back stay has also probably helped because we're I mean we're doing we're doing you know three and a half knots ish which um you know to say that we don't have a mainsail up we've literally just got the headsail um I think that's really good um I mean <laughs> if somebody said you can do four knots all the time you don't even have to put the main up I'd bite your hand off um and yeah um rain head in the distance there Edison, a couple of fishermen going home now, so definitely my time. Down inside the cabin, managed to cook myself a meal, and yeah, it's it's all yeah, it's glorious, absolutely glorious. Boat sailing itself, feeling quite a bit mine because we've taken the wind off. Got the entrance to the Riviera Elm there, Bolt Head over there, Salcombe, Dartmouth, Devon. Living the life we are in Emerald Spirit with this huge Genoa that I'm only finally um, learning how to use properly. Anyway, catch you later. Well, what a cracking sail. Um, we're about to get into the western entrance of the sail, and we've literally been doing five knots for the past 30 minutes. Head sail alone. Probably a beam reach, I would say, yeah, beamish between close hold and beam. Literally just the head sail and well, five knots. I mean, in, in to be fair, we do have a um, spring tide sucking us in, but you know that can only ever account for up to very maximum of two knots. In fact, <laughs> it's you know it's more like a knot and a half. And I think today it's only probably a knot. So. Um, yeah, what a, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, yeah, stonking. Stonking sail! Ah, oh, the more I sail, the more I love this boat. Definitely, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And the Devon coast over there, Pickers Channel, Lily Stone, and Rainhead. But yes, brilliant, brilliant stuff. 